In this tutorial, we'll be creating this wiggly 3D text animation in After Effects. So with my text layer created, I'm going to start adding some animators to it. So we'll go down here, animate, select position, and under add here, I'm also going to add another property and it's going to be the rotation. Now, if you notice here, the anchor point of each character is at the bottom and we want to center it to each letter. So to fix that, we'll go into more options here and under grouping alignment, we'll just move it up here like so. And once we move the rotation now, it's going to move from the center of our text. Now let's add another property, which is the enable pair character 3D, since we do want to make it a 3D text. And now we can go down here and give it some depth. So I'll set the extrusion depth to 100. So it receives the 3D depth here and maybe give it a convex bevel style here, set it to four. Now we want to add the wiggling effect. So to do this, we'll go into the add again under animator one, selector and select wiggly. Now let's give it some properties. So we'll move around the settings. And if we play it back, you can see it's going pretty crazy and all over the place. Now to settle this down, we'll go into the wiggle selector, set the wiggles per second to maybe 0.5 and the correlation to 25. And this should ease things up and make it a bit more subtle. Now with these settings, we basically control how much each value is going to wiggle around. So if I increase my Y here, the text letters are going to bounce up and down more frequently. If I increase the Y rotation, they're going to spin left and right more frequently. I'm going to play around with the settings here. I just want it mostly on the Y, maybe two or three on the X and Z and a bit more right here. So right now I got this pretty subtle looking animation. Now, since we are in a 3D scene, let's go ahead and create a camera. And I'll also create a new light. Make sure it's an environment light and cast shadow is set to on. And let's create a background. We'll call this background, make it darkish kind of blue here. And lastly, I'm going to create a floor layer. So we'll name this floor and let's make it a bright white maybe. Now let's make the floor a 3D layer. Hit R for rotation, rotate it on the X rotation and we'll drop it down here. Scale this up. Now, if I hit AA on my floor layer, I can isolate the shadows only by setting the accept shadows to only. And this floor layer is now basically just a mat for our shadows. We can go into the environment light here and control the rotation of it. So define the direction of our light like so. And I can also go into my text layer here and under material options, we can give it some more glossiness. So it's a bit more reflective. This is completely up to you, but I'm just showing you how I created the scene at the beginning. And finally, we're going to add a camera movement. So let's hit P set two keyframes on my position, sort of just zooming in here. And this is how you can create this type of animation. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.